Okay, so if you have a budget of under 30,000, then the smartphone market is pretty confusing. Because brands like IQ, Vivo, Samsung, Motorola, Xiaomi all launched good phones under 30,000. And I say good in quotes because there is a catch. Not every phone launched under 30,000 is a good camera phone. Of course, you get these 50 megapixel, 108 megapixel or even the massive 200 megapixel at 30,000. But does megapixel make a good camera phone? And out of all the phones at 30,000, which is the best camera phone to buy at 30,000? Well, stick around till the end of the video to find out. Let's get clicking. All right, so we have the Samsung F54 with 108 megapixel camera, Moto Edge 40 with 50 megapixel camera, Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus and Realme 11 Pro Plus with a massive 200 megapixel camera and all of these phones launched in 2023 so which one is the best so we left all the phones at default settings also you guys really like the seven practical categories format so we'll be sticking to that let's begin with the most important one skin tone because let's be honest we all click each other's photo and it's important to get the skin tone right okay so we click this picture during cloudy day and i would say the skin tone of samsung f54 is proper here like very close to natural moto and realme has boosted the colors like just have a look at the grass it looks Extra green. The Redmi one is good, but seems slightly contrasty. And even this shot over here, I would say the F54's picture looks nice. Like Manu's skin tone looks as he does in real life. In Redmi and Realme, see there is this halo effect around his face. Like they have boosted the brightness of only his face. And H40's picture doesn't look appealing here, like the background is completely overexposed. And not just that, see on F54, the grass on the foreground has a gradual blur. It looks nice and eye-pleasing. So for skin tone, my choice would be Samsung F54. Coming to portrait mode. See the story here also is the same. Like I prefer the F54's photo which is more closer to natural. Motorola and Realme's picture are here okay -ish. Like they have brightened his face but still manageable because the background blur and all is nice. But Redmi's picture has completely overexposed the background and even his face seems whitewashed. Or take this picture. Redmi has just overexposed the sky and everything. Realme and Moto's photo are decent, but they have again artificially brightened his face. Now, Samsung's photo may seem dull at first glance, but I prefer it since we were under the shade of the tree and this was how Manu was looking when we clicked the picture in real life. So for portrait mode, I'll go with the Samsung F54. Coming to the ultra wide angle mode, have a look at this picture. Except for Moto H40, all the other phones did a decent job here. Motorola has completely overexposed the background here. Like look at how white it looks around the building. But then again, people usually take non-human photos from the ultra wide. So we took this shot too. All the four phones have four different colors for the sky. I mean... Exactly. But I would prefer the picture from the Realme and Samsung. Samsung's picture looks brighter and Realme's sky looks more blue. Motorola and Redmi photo looks a bit dull as if they couldn't get the HDR correct or just didn't turn on the HDR at all. Speaking of HDR, have a look at this. Okay, so we took this photo directly against the sun. Very difficult to get this picture right. And I would say only Realme got it almost correct. Like see the sun as well as Manu's face, they are properly exposed. Redmi's picture is a close second, like the sun is proper, but it has again done a halo effect around Manu's face. Motorola has completely overexposed the background and even Manu's face looked dull. And in Samsung's photo, the sky is nice and blue with the sun flare and all of that, but Manu's face looks underexposed. Or see this picture, now we click this with the ultra wide angle lens and here also I prefer the Realme's photo. Like the background and foreground is properly exposed, Manu's face is also properly exposed. Coming from outdoors to indoors in low light, here I would say all the four phones did a decent job. But if you zoom in, F54's picture appeared to be a bit noisy, it has slight grain. Moto H40 has done smoothening around Manu's cheek, but I prefer the shot from Realme and Redmi. See, both have enough details and the sharpening is also nice. So yeah, for low light performance, I would say the 200 megapixel of Redmi and Realme does come in handy. Coming to the front camera, I would say I like the F54's photo, the sharpness and the color overall looks good. Motorola H40 is a close second, the colors and all are fine, but it has added that extra brightness around Manu's nose. Redmi has completely overexposed Manu's white t-shirt and Realme has completely overexposed Manu's face, like all over the place. Now coming to selfie videos, well this is the camera quality, the F54 and H40 are the few phones in this segment that does even 4K in selfie videos. Or see this picture, I clicked in the portrait mode, I would say all the phones take decent shot, but I prefer the picture of F54, like my skin tone and even the sky in the background looks closer to natural. 
So yeah, overall for selfies, I would prefer the Samsung F54. Now coming to videos, all the four phones can do 4K 30fps from the main camera. And in outdoor daytime, I would say the videos from all of them are pretty decent. The stabilization for F54 seems a bit better, but here is something interesting. Only in the H40, even in 4K, you can switch to ultra wide angle. On the others, ultra wide angle video is capped to 1080p because 8 megapixel. Other than this, F54 also has a single take feature which captures multiple shots and videos at the same time and you have like a very nice memory put together. Why well, I like this feature. So yeah, what's the conclusion then? Which is the best smartphone camera under 30,000? Well, overall, out of all the four phones that we have here, I would say the Samsung F54 takes better shot in most of the cases. It takes better skin tone. Portrait mode is good. Beside the camera, the F54 also has a massive 6000 mAh battery. Plus, it is the only phone in this entire list that comes with four years of Android updates and five years of security update. The only thing with Samsung M54 is performance. Exynos 1330 is kind of meh with heavy task. That being said, however, if your priority is more on display and build quality, then you could also look into the Realme 11 Pro Plus. We have given our first impression of the phone over here. You can go check that out. Or if you want a good software experience, the Motorola Edge 40 also is a good option for you. Just a pro tip, use Gcam. On that note, this is Pradeep signing off. See you in the next video. Pew, pew.